comes Blake Bortles. More live coverage here on Game Day Highlights. Blake came into the game the third or fourth down, whatever it was, the third or fourth down. Play calls there were supposed to be, what, was that supposed to be for Didi at the end there? Or just give me an idea of what you guys yeah. were going through for those last two plays. Yeah, um, you know, both of them, we knew we had two shots. Um, you know, trying to get the ball down the field or two downs, obviously getting third and fourth down. And, you know, the first one, you know, not getting a big chunk didn't help. Um, you know, I don't know, I have to look at it. Maybe could have could have got that further down the field. Um, and then the second one was a play we put in this week on fourth down. Uh, it was kind of like if we got to have, you know, a third and long or a fourth and long um, and we need time. I mean, it was everything we wanted at DD one on one going across the field. I uh, got to give him a better ball so we can make a play. How emotional was that like? Um, I mean, hey, guys are upset. You know, it's not what anybody expected. You know, outside of or contrary to popular belief, um, you know that 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 room fully expected to win this game, um, and you know I think everybody's shocked, disappointed, upset. You know, whatever you want to call it. You know that we didn't. Of ten points. Did you ever let in one moment there the thought of Super Bowl go through your mind at that point? Or no? No, I don't think you can, you know, especially not playing, uh, you know, Tom Brady and the Patriots, you know, because they're going to score. They're going to find a way to put the pressure on you, um, you know, but we had a two minute drive at the end of the game to win the AFC championship. So there's not a whole lot more you can ask for than that. You know, you just got to take advantage of that and find a way to win the game. Doug pointed to the delay of game penalty. He's got that drive derailed. Um, was the, what was happening on that one that caused it? Yeah, I don't know. I looked up and, um, you know, clock was running down, tried to get it snapped and didn't get it off. Uh, no keepers today. Did they, did they put a spy on you? Did they play pretty disciplined? Yeah, the defensive ends did a good job all day playing the zone read, um, making me hand it off and then you know kind of closing and trying to get in on the play. So um, I thought they did a good job of, of taking that part of our, our, our run game away. How long will it be before you can take any satisfaction in what you guys accomplished and what you accomplished specifically? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's been an, uh, it's been an awesome season. I think it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, despite what happened today, um, it's been you know it's been a special ride to do this um, on an organization that hasn't done this in a really long time with a special group of guys. So um, you know, it's tough I think to try and enjoy it right now, but I'm sure at some point you know we'll be able to reflect and um, you know think about all the good things that happened, and then you know how can we fix it to make sure we don't feel like this at this point again. Does it like prove that you guys are legit contenders for? Several years, I mean, after everyone right. doubted you guys. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, maybe if we'd have beat them. Um, but, you know, we got here and, and, and we didn't get it done. So, you know, we'll figure it out, try to make corrections, and do the same thing like we would any other game, except we just got a couple month break now. Well, you have the option on that zone read to pull it out and take it, but they were standing there the whole day. Yeah, their ends did a good job of just kind of staying square and, and making me hand it off. Um, so, and that's fine. You know, that kind of opens up, you know, backside cut and stuff like that. Um, so they did, they did a good job of playing the zone read. Blake, you're not going to creep up on anybody or sneak up on anybody like you did this year, going from 313 to an AFC championship. So how do you view next season with a lot of people this going on in the back of their minds right. saying Jacksonville made this jump? Yeah, I think um, you know. I think the funny thing is, is you know, obviously a lot of people were surprised by what happened this year, but nobody in, in that locker room was. You know, our, our bar was set. Um, you know, one week or two weeks from now, and um, you know we we didn't get there. So you know we'll go back to the drawing board and figure it out. And we you know fully expect to be be back here again, uh, giving it another try next.